square root of x times x minus square root of x. All right, so doing this, we multiply, we distribute out, so it multiplies out like this. So we get square root of x times x minus square root of x times the square root of x. So this becomes, well, it is what it is right here, but this can become x raised to the 3 halves, and this becomes a minus x. And that's pretty much how you solve it right there. If you still want your radicals, well, this could become x squared, or excuse me, um, x cubed, and then down here, this would just become, well, it would be x, but the same thing as square root of x squared, which is x. So that's pretty much it.